<ríe> eh, y es este... Um, 12 year old. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. Ah. She's, she's a teenager. Yes. Yes. Sorry, I... <clears throat> Good evening. I need. Good evening, Joaquin. Good evening, teacher. Nice to see you again. <laughs> Thank you. Thank I you. Glad to see you too. I have. I have to. I need to have a fun because it's really hot in this place. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. I can't live without a fan or a conditioner, conditioner air, because me too. <laughs> and, uh, and here in Chalate is very hot, very yeah. hot. I know Chalate. I uh, Chalatenango. Um, my my husband have. Uh, her her parents no yeah. her parents yes her relative, hello everybody hello hello, hello, hello Sandra. Sandra. hi Sandrita nice hi. to see you nice to see you too nice to see you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you <laughs> so much well let's begin yes just one minute hi Rafael nice to see you again Yes, who's back here? Hi, DJ. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hey, Hi. good to see you. Hi. Hi. Hi the teacher, wow. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it was going to be you guys. I thought it was going to be different mm -hmm. people. So I'm very glad to see you. Let me make sure this is the right, yeah, this is the right class. <laughs> okay. How are you? I, I really thought that I was going to have I didn't know that it was going to be you because you told me that you had not received uh, the invitation yet, right? Mm -hmm. I, thought it, I really thought that it was going to be different people. So I'm very glad to see you here, guys. How's Thank everything? You. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. We Thank you. Yeah, me no, too. I'm very happy, guys. Now, there is something, right? Uh, I really, so what, what, what happens at the beginning of every class is that we're going to have new students and and we're going to have like, there is always an introduction. Do you remember when you introduce yourselves, right? So we have that activity today. So today, right, it's, it's actually, you know, that activity is not, um, I, I, it was not, I didn't know that it was going to be you. So you're going to have to reintroduce yourselves to everybody who is new here, okay? So far, nobody here is new. <laughs> I can recognize you, Patricia, Luis, Sandra, Rafael. Joaquin Ramirez, I remember your name, right? Nicole Savaleta, too, right? Jose Arias, <laughs> this. Catherine, right? <laughs> right? I was I was thinking about this after. It's the same team, teacher. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's yeah. Yeah, it's, it's the same, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> That's funny. That's Only funny. the day is different. Yeah, no, the, the uh, <laughs> The WhatsApp group is different, you know, the day is different. Guys, I really thought that it was gonna it was gonna rain today. Oh. In Chalate yesterday at night, it's very strong. Because it's, it's, it's really it's really, really hot. I don't have light yes. energy more or less uh, three or four hours. Yes. Oh you you, you lost your electricity for th three hours? Yes. Yes, here in Chalate. Yes, yes. So hey, that's yeah. No, that's that's the only bad part, right? But aside from that, right? Aside from that, we have um, it's 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 colder. That's what I like. Okay, that's uh, what I like about it. All right, so we're gonna wait, guys, for more people to join because according to the, I think we got around sixteen people, right? Um, so we might have new people, but uh, how are you guys? How's uh, how's work? 
a lot of the work is is very hard. Well, yesterday um, uh, I was afraid about the tornado. Tornado. Yeah. We don't. We. Yeah, we have. The, really, there was. Was there? A, it was. I was on TV. Uh, yes. on TV, the news. Uh, yes, it was tornado. Yes. Really? It was. Yes. I, 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 in what news? I I don't watch. It says you know what? I don't in watch. Channel, TV. channel. Two and the channel four. Oh, oh, it's just guys, I've been uh, I have not watched PCS. Oh. Oh. National, national channel. National. Yeah, okay. No, I, I actually don't don't watch TV at all. I don't oh. watch TV. If I watch anything, so if I have free time, I do other things, right? If I watch TV, I watch YouTube or Netflix, you know, but I don't oh. watch TV, like I, I don't. Right, I don't yeah. even know. I don't even have a TV here, you know, because it's just mm -hmm. I had a TV and I never used it. Never. Especially, you know, I would never watch this. Essay. I hate this. Essay. <laughs> <laughs> no. so, do so, I. <laughs> so, so, so okay. that's why I didn't okay. know about the Okay, tornado. teacher, no commercial, no commercial. Okay. And, no where, <laughs> and where do you live, teacher? Where do I live? Yes. I, I, I live in San Salvador. Okay. but that's near a popa no 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 oh, that's why because we no. were we were near a popa yesterday because we we came from the airport with my husband and and then we went to san gabriel mall uh, to to take a a, a refuge there a, a, a refugiarnos <laughs> a, a, oh. from the from the, uh, from the tornado magnets. They look uh -huh, about that lightnings because they, they were so strong, you know. And and the and the and the dust was uh my god, I we felt to be flying <laughs> because of, of the of the strong uh, the strength of the of the of the wind. Right, I got you. And leak you. everywhere. Yeah, that's um <laughs> yeah, no, I, I think guys, I think that um I don't think that a tornado was, would survive here because we have a lot of mountains, you know, and and things like that, right? So I really don't think a, a tornado would survive here. So uh, that, that's why, you know, I from all the things that we can have, guys, we can have like rain, like really bad rainstorms, you know, we can have um, earthquakes, right? But tornadoes is not something El Salvador has to worry about because we're surrounded by volcanoes, you know, hills. And whatnot, right? So, so yeah. But but yesterday's yesterday's storm was was really bad. I liked it. I mean, I like I like storm. But you know, I think the country is not prepared for storms. Like this country has too much trash. You know, people litter everywhere. I, I think people don't litter as much as 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 they used to before. Like before, right? But but you know, we still litter, right? So there, we still have people, you know, littering on the streets, right? So I think culture has to change. You know, so, wow. so. But really, teacher, yeah. I was we very afflicted yesterday. <laughs> and see, uh, it, it, many, many roofs were uprooted right. yesterday. <clears throat> really? in, in San Gabriel, yeah. yes, of course. It wow. was very strong, yes. Over there, there is well, no trees, you know. That is why it, it was so strong. We are not prepared for something like this. Prepared. We're not prepared. 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 We're yes. not prepared, prepared for something like this. All mm -hmm. right. <clears throat> okay, guys. So um, all right, let me see who else is coming here. I think that might be us, you know. Jenny Campos. Jenny, I will see, guys. We'll see. We will see, guys. <clears throat> we'll see. All right. So, guys, um, I don't know. Do do I do I have the same? people or is there anyone new here 
I think I have not seen. Julia, Patricia, are you there? Yes, yes, I'm here. Hi, Julia. Um, are you new in this class or were you with me last? Um, last, yeah, we have, we do have new people. Okay. It's not no, new. Yes, I was, I was in the last class with you. Oh, you, you were in the last class with me? <laughs> yes. All right, okay. Very good. What about you, Lourdes? Were you in my last class too? I'm sorry if I forget names. Can you hear me, lower this? All right. So I think everybody everybody's here, guys. Okay. So I had guys a welcome prepared, but since we're all here, uh, we're gonna start with 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 a class. Okay. With a with the topic where the first topic that we got from the platform, which is actually, um, which is still, clauses. Okay. We still have to talk about clauses, right? Because it's one of the more advanced topics out there okay so welcome aboard guys nice to see you again all right i don't think i really don't think that we have anyone new here i remember helen carlos gonzalez nicole amilcar who's right is this right uh monsignor i mean uh, i'm Montserrat. Montserrat. i'm sorry i don't know why i said monsignor guys lourdes okay lourdes monserrat welcome all right so guys let's go over the um Let's go over the platform real quick, guys. The first topic that we're gonna to be touching based on is clauses and phrases showing contrast and exceptions, right? So I'm gonna pull out the presentation from clauses and let's see if we remember, guys, what a clause is, right? So we know what that a clause is, what, guys? Quickly, you know what a clause is, right? Group of words, it's a group of conjunction. Words. Have a group of subject. words, clauses, subject, predicate, predicate, and predicate. And bear. And, bear. and bear. All right, very good, right? So it's a group of words that contains a subject Objects and a and verb. Predicate. And a know. predicate, right? Well, yeah, a, a predicate that contains a verb, right? Yes. Good job. Good job, guys. Okay. So yeah, uh, those are clauses, okay? And what are the two general type of clauses that we have? We have two big dependent categories of clauses. And independence. No. And then dependent. Not defining and defining. Defining and undefining. Dependent and independent clauses. <laughs> All right. Within the dependent clauses, we have the ones that what, what were the clauses that we were talking about? Relative. Defining. Or, or. We were talking about relative clauses. Yes. <laughs> clauses. All right. Yeah. And what type of relative clauses do we have? Defining and non-defining. Defining and defining and non-defining. Defining non Very good job. Okay. And what is a defining clause? How do you how do you identify a defining clause? Not defining when you have another extra information. Or no? Yes. When you have extra no. information. No when you use a comma. When you use a comma. All right, well, yeah, you can identify them by the use of commas, right? Very good job, guys, very good job, okay? All right, guys, so well done, guys, congratulations. So you remember, you remember what we saw last time, okay? So guys, mm -hmm. since I'm not gonna do the welcome at today, since I know everybody already and you know me, right? So we don't have that ready. I'm gonna, uh, I'm just gonna start with the first topic, okay? So, uh, so then, guys, today we're gonna go over clauses and phrases showing contrast and exception okay so we're still gonna talk about clauses and phrases showing contrast and exception okay guys what words do we use for contrast for contrast however uh, uh, unlike uh, all right in so contrast to why? 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 All right. So for so for contrast, right? So for contrast, we can use we while. can use while. While. Why? Okay. Unlike. 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 In contrast to. What about what about this guys? What about however? What about but? What about it's this? A conjunction. 
Well, yeah, they're conjunctions, but do they show contrast? Uh, right. Yeah, it could. It could be yes, of course. However, sin embargo. Yes, okay. yes. Try, try not to try not try to never, guys, to never translate. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Sorry. So, so it's okay. No, it's all right. Just just a tip. So if you notice, guys, if you notice, yes, the one the, the examples that you're giving me from the platform show uh, while, unlike, in contrast to, contrast right, to. except that, except for, except uh, for the fact that, right, so on and so forth. But that's another point. You should not learn like that exactly, guys. You should know the why behind everything, right? So, so what type of, uh, let's analyze the first example, right? So it says, well, the typical Italian person thinks school is boring, all right? So let's let's erase this right here. All right. So while the typical Italian person. man, right? Person. Person. Person, right? You can thinks, say man. Thinks, person school. Thinks, thinks school is boring. School is boring. All right. School is boring. Coma. Oh, man. Uh -huh. the, the typical, typical Japanese, Japanese doesn't. 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 The typical, right? The typical Japanese person doesn't. Okay, very good. All right. Guys, while and the while, right, is usually not used for contrast, okay? It's used for contrast in this in this sentence but you'll see why, okay? Now, <clears throat> actually guys, there are conjunctions, right? That we can use for contracts. Somebody said, but, right, for example. So this phrase, guys, could be like this. Instead of saying, while well, the typical Italian person thinks school is boring, the typical Japanese person doesn't, right? You can say, Italians think um, school, school is boring. boring. And then what? But, 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 but the typical Japanese, however, or however, the, the typical Japanese doesn't. doesn't, doesn't, okay, or you can say, however, the typical Japanese doesn't, right? All right, very good, very good. So, all right, so is this. Does this portray the same idea, guys, yes or no? Is this the same idea? Yes or no? Yes. 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 It is. It it's is. A contrast? The same. It's contrast. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. So while we, what we are seeing here, guys, is basically. If you use, use, if you use while in, in, in the middle of the sentence, I mean, you can or not why we can see yes you can. can yes all right yes 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 you can we will we'll see that in a moment okay but yes yes guys all right so we can use guys we can say this while the typical italian person thinks school is boring right um uh, but we can we can place that clause guys in the second uh, i mean uh, after the comma now if you do that if you do that right if you go like this and you say, for example, the typical Japanese person, uh, can, I, can, I, can I say this guy is the typical Japanese person? Doesn't while the typical Italian person. You know what guys, there's something I don't like about this sentence and is the fact that they're using person. <laughs> We already know that they are people, right? So it's it, this is unnecessary. The typical Japanese and the typical Italian, right? We don't need to say person. Got it? We know that they are people. So the typical Japanese doesn't, while the typical Italian thinks um, school is boring. So is this correct, guys? Do you think that this would be correct? I think that no. I care because. Uh, uh, the first uh, doesn't the, what the first part uh, don't have an idea. Is doesn't what doesn't doesn't 
speak exactly speak guys. About, about what yes this is incorrect guys this is incorrect and and the reason why it's incorrect is because every time guys that we introduce a sentence the first clause has to contain new yes, information yes. okay new information we have to introduce new information okay and new information contains guys the subject and the verb that we're talking about i mean the subject that we're talking about okay and this doesn't and that's a problem so yeah you can change you can switch you know yes. you can switch the uh the order of the clauses oh. here however you have to introduce new information okay so you can say the typical japanese we're not going to say person because that that is redundant okay the typical yes. japanese thinks school is boring is not boring right it's not boring while the typical italian italian person italian does 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 no 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 because okay hey, if we say think about these guys if you say does yes. we are not contradicting okay we're not contrasting the point is to contrast. To contrast something, guys, means to do the opposite, okay? So the contrast of black is white. The yes. contrast of low is high. The contrast of blue is yellow, right? Yes. Well, yes, right. it was not. <laughs> exactly, right? The, the contrast of beauty is me, right? No, I'm kidding. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, so no. So, you so say yes, guys, right? So, contrast is the opposite, right? Contrast is something, right, that that will always be at the in the opposite side. So, you cannot say Italian thing school is boring, but the typical the Japanese. Uh, I, I'm sorry, not this example. The typical Japanese thinks school is not boring, while the typical Italian doesn't, right? No, because you're talking about the same idea, right? So, how many clauses do we have in the first sentence, guys? All right, let's oh, erase this, okay? Two. So, which one is the, the, the first clause? There are two. A typical Italian person thinks school is boring. Very good. Okay, so we have while the typical Italian person thinks school is boring, and then we have. The typical Japanese that person doesn't. Does 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 the typical Japanese person doesn't, right? Exactly. Does okay, so we have these two over here. Okay. All right. So those are the two the, the two clauses that we have. Can we can we interchange them? Yes, but mm -hmm. you will have to change. You will have to change. You'll have to introduce, you know, the object, right? And the, the subject or and and the object of the sentence. Okay, so you can do that. So if you notice, all right, this, this is called, guys, a clause or phrase showing contrast or exception because we are not using, you know, however, we are not using but, we're not using even so, got it? We're not using any of these words to show, to show contrast. We're doing something totally different. We were using why, okay? While, I'm sorry, not why, while, right? Questions so far, guys? All right. Okay. Can we use even though? You can use even though, but will it show contrast? Can you say, um, actually, yes, you can say even though, Yes, you can say that. Even though, right? Even though Italians, you know what? Let's 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 have our own examples, guys. Okay. Yes. Even though the typical Salvadorian um, likes, what do we like that the world doesn't, guys? <laughs> like eat pupus. I, I, I was gonna, I was gonna say that, but maybe the world likes it. You know. They just haven't had the pleasure. What do you think? Mm. Mm. Likes, 
likes cumbias. No, you know what? Well, I don't like cumbias, but no, even, even, though like... even though the typical Salvadorian likes, no. You, you know are what? the contrast. You are the contrast. I am yes. the contrast, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. We can say that. Even though the typical Salvadorian likes cumbias, right? All right. David doesn't. Okay. Yes. Now, can we say, guys, David does not like cumbias? Mm -hmm. Um, yes. <coughs> redundant. So redundant. So, so theoretically, guys, yes. In reality, no. It is grammatically correct. Yes. But, but it is redundant and it is wordy. All right. People would never talk. Not even when speaking, guys. Because we, when we speak, you know, we can be informal, right? We can make certain mistakes, but, but in this, in this case, guys, we're not. Uh, that's that's not the, that's not the case, right? That, that definitely doesn't make sense here. So we're gonna say David yes, doesn't. Doesn't. Okay. Now, do my favor, guys. I want everyone. Uh, I like this example of you and though. All right. Um, I want everybody, guys, to switch the two clauses around. Okay. Right now, can we consider this a clause, guys? Is this a clause? Mm, yes. 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 David does. Okay, a group of words. Yes, it is a group yes. of words that contains yes. a subject Absolutely. and a verb that contains a predicate. A verb. Yes. yes, right? Yes. Very good. Yes. All right, I want you to switch them over, guys. All right, and please, so this this one, okay? Not the first one, but this one, okay? I want okay. you to switch that over and it needs to make sense, okay? The, your example needs to make sense. Write it down in your notebook and then I'm going to ask you, okay? Okay. I'm going to give you one minute for that. <laughs> so you have Josue who sent it in the, who sent it in the chat. Um, Okay, it's okay, Jose. That that was that was nobody watch no nobody all right, please nobody um look at the the chat, okay? Because <laughs> then you got the answer. Yeah. Good job, Jose. Good job. Good job though. All right. Really, really, really good job. And <laughs> the same. <laughs> the same I got. Yes, yes, I know yes, it's the same. same. <laughs> I know it's the same. All right. Yeah. So let's see. Let's see. Okay. So let's see what you have, guys. Who wants to volunteer? Me, teacher. All right, Sandra. Let's go, Sandra. Yes. Even though David doesn't like cumbias, the typical Salvadorian does. Good job. Uh, Yancy? And for me, David doesn't like cumbias, but that typical Salvadorian like it. No? Likes can, it? Yeah, yes, you can say that, and that is correct. The only thing with that example, again, it's correct, right? Uh, the only thing with that example is that we're not using even though. And I wanted you to use for the example's oh. sake, right? I wanted you to use even though. So to see even that we, we, can, we can use contrast, mm -hmm. right? All right, you can also use while. Yes. Right? You can also use while if you want, guys, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, I want you to notice that even though, guys, in while and unlike, they work as conjunctions, okay? Uh -huh. Remember that, that a word, guys, a word is a conjunction or a preposition or, or a verb, right? Or an adverb or an adjective, depending on what they do in the sentence, 
Okay, are they showing contrast? Okay, mm -hmm. oh, that is a conjunction, right? Whatever word, guys. If David was used as a conjunction, guys, even though David, yes. you know, it's not a conjunction, it would be a conjunction, you know? So the, yes. the, the work, the, the word does is what determines what it is. So in this case, since this is showing contrast, it is a conjunction, okay? Whatever shows contrast is a conjunction, yes. right? Very good. So, all right, so let's see, let's see, guys. Who wants to give me their example? Uh, Rafael, <clears throat> what do you have, Rafael? Yeah, I have the same. Even though David doesn't like cumbias, the typical Salvadorian does. Okay, okay very good. So, do you all have this answer, guys? Let me let me give you the answer. Here, right. So, do you all do you all have this answer? Even though uh, David, what doesn't doesn't like like cumbias, the typical, typical Salvadorian, Salvadorian does. Yes. yes. Okay. Very good. Very good, right? Very good, guys. Very good. Okay. So now we can also use, guys, another conjunction for for contrast. What is the other conjunction that we can use? We can use? Unlike, right? Unlike. Unlike. All right. So let's use... All right, so here we were using, right, hold on. Over here we were using, oh, I need to call this. All right, hold on, guys. Just want you to, all right, so here we were using while. And here we were using even though, oops, even though, right? And here we are going to use unlike. So what is the difference? There's no difference guys, okay? But, but we're gonna see, let's see guys, let's see if we can use it in the same examples, okay? Let's use it in the first example. Why the typical Italian person, and let's erase person guys, I really hate that part because it confuses students, you know, and it's incorrect, okay? That while the typical Italian thinks school is boring, the typical Japanese doesn't, okay? All right, so now guys, let's try to use unlike like that, okay? Unlike, hold on. So what would be the example? Unlike the typical Italian, right? Unlike the typical Italian thinks, Thinks school is boring. The typical Japanese doesn't. All right. So guys, tell me, is this correct or incorrect? What do you think? Mm, I believe it's correct. Uh, you think it's, it's negative, correct? doesn't, it's negative, and uh, it's boring? No, it's correct. It is, is, is it correct? Yes. Okay. Do we bet $20? You pay me $20 if it isn't correct? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's like sure. a while. And I'll pay it's you, close. and I'll pay you $20 and if it is correct. correct. <laughs> Teacher. It tell, me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Teacher, for the, the meaning? No. Yes. yes. Okay. okay. Unlike. Okay. Unlike. It's like, for like the meaning. Uh, in... Like uh, typical. Uh, like the typical. It's incorrect. Italian, the Japanese. Yes. The typical Japanese thinks the school is not boring. Okay. So, it's guys. Incorrect. It's, it's incorrect. incorrect. Okay. Yes, it is incorrect. Okay. Is... I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't interrupt you. What were you going to say? I'm sorry. Okay. okay all right so so guys if we use unlike all right so let's say unlike the typical mm -hmm. italian thinks school is boring right okay here guys okay we're gonna use unlike 
what is, what is the difference? No, the, no the, difference. The, 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 yeah, there is a big difference, all right? Mm -hmm. We are not going to use a full clause with unlike, okay? We can say unlike Cheyenne, unlike mm -hmm. Yancy. So guys, we're gonna use unlike plus a noun or a noun phrase, okay? Sounds good? No. Oh, no, it doesn't sound good. Yes. <laughs> okay, all right, so we're gonna use unlike plus a noun or a noun phrase, okay? We're not gonna use unlike plus, um, plus a clause, all right? We're not gonna use it like that, okay? It's gonna be unlike plus a noun. So we can say it in two ways, guys, right? We can say unlike, what is the noun that we have here? What is it? David. David. No, let, let's, let's, let's go over the first example. Choyong. No, yeah, Choyong. We're gonna use Choyong later. But the first example. Italian sing. Italian. Unlike, 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 keep very good. Right, so we're gonna use unlike the typical Italian, okay? Very good, I like it. Now, the typical guys is the adjective for Italian, right? So this is this yeah. is the this is the the uh, article, right? The definite article for typical for Italian actually, and typical is describing Italian. So this is an adjective, okay? And this is a noun, and this is is this, is this a clause, guys? Unlike the typical Italian? No, it's no. A no, it's a no. It's, a no, it's not. It's not because remember. Um, a group of words, yes, we have a group yes. of words that contains a subject yeah. and a yeah. predicate. No, we don't have predicate here, right? No. Exactly. <laughs> so if we start, guys, if we start with, with the conjunction unlike, right? These are conjunctions, right? If we start with a conjunction unlike, we will need to use a comma, okay? Okay. All right, so just bear that in mind because if you do the, the exercises from the platform and you forget punctuation, it's gonna be a wrong answer, okay? All right? Yes. All right, hold on. All right, very good. We have to use... So, so yes. Okay, so so the, the structure goes like that, right? Unlike plus a noun or a noun phrase. And then what we need to change here is, okay, so unlike the typical Italian, what is the contrast <laughs> of the Italian and, and, the, and the Japanese? Um, there is no contrast. Uh, like yes, there are, they like mm, the same. Because it's incomplete. Yes. No, 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 no. Hey, listen, listen. Yes, there, there is contrast, but I, okay, listen to the question. Okay, listen to the question, guys. All right. So what is the contrast between, according to the first phrase, right? What is the contrast between the Italian and the Japanese? Thinks the school, the school is boring. All right, so the school is boring, right? So who thinks school is boring? The Italian. Italian, 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 Italian right? The Italian. Italian. Very good, okay. So. We can say unlike the typical Italian, right? The typical Japanese. Japanese, Japanese. right? What? That's now here, guys. Like, okay, seems, here, here, here's here's the yeah. big, it's not boring. Yes, exactly. Here's the big difference. Things. Okay. In the first example, guys, in the first example, boring. right? In the first example, we were using the conjunction while. Yeah. Plus, plus a whole clause, okay? Here, we are going to use, guys, the clause that contains the main information in the clause that does not have the conjunction Y. I repeat, we are going to add the information in that clause that does not contain the conjunction Y. Y, I'm sorry, right? So the typical Japanese does like Thinks, think, doesn't, doesn't, doesn't think, think that doesn't school, think, school is boring. That school is boring. Is boring. All right. So unlike the typical Italian, the Japanese doesn't think, right? or Japanese, the typical Japanese doesn't think 
that school is boring, all right? So here's here lies the big difference, all right? So the clause, guys, that does not have the conjunction is the one containing the information. In the other examples, in the examples of while and even though, you have to have the information there, all right? So that is the, the, the big difference, okay? Now, can we, do my favor, guys, I want you to switch this sentence, switch the clauses over, okay? So if you were using, uh, unlike the typical Italian first, I want you to use it in the second place, okay? Switch okay. them over and I'm gonna ask you, okay? Do it in your notebook and then I'm gonna ask you. Let's go guys, let's go. All right, so let's see what we have, guys. Fini. All right, so let me ask you, uh, Nicole Savaleta. Hello. D did you finish? Yeah. All right, do you want to share your example? I mean, the, sure. the answer, yes. I mean, right. yeah. The typical Japanese doesn't think that a school is boring, coma, unlike the typical Italian. All right, okay, so the typical, let me write that down. Okay, so the typical Japanese doesn't think school is boring, and there's a comma, right? Unlike the typical Italian. All right, very good. Good job, thank you, thank you very much, okay. So do we all have the same answer, guys, or do you have any different answer? Do you all have the typical Japanese doesn't think school is boring, unlike the typical Italian? That's what do you have? Um, what do you have? I have. No, I don't. Have, I don't have any like this. Unlike, unlike have... the typical Japanese, huh? Typic, Japanese. Typical Italian. The typical Italian. That's, what? Does I guess. The does, typical Italian does, what? Does. 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 Thing. Does. 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 Thing. Does. 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 Does, does, does think okay does, right does, does think think does think school is boring okay yes exactly all right very good good job all right all right do we have do we have any other answer guys yes unlike the typical japanese thinks that school is not boring the typical italian does okay all right let's 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 see that. Okay, so you said I'm sorry. What was your no. example again? Maybe it doesn't. Does okay. What well, what was? Could you please repeat your example again? The mine one. Yes. Could you could you please repeat okay. your example again? So, yes, of course. Unlike the typical Japanese thinks that school is not boring, the typical Italian doesn't. Japanese. Thanks. Now, okay, I'm gonna leave it here because Thanks. because I want guys. What is the first thing that I told you? What was the the what was the the structure? Unlike 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 clause, a noun or a yeah. noun phrase, yeah. right? So if you give me a, a clause, that is incorrect. You cannot use a clause 
um, with unlike, okay? So you, you can say the unlike the typical Italian or unlike the typical Japanese, Japanese, Japanese right? But you can't comment. say, yes, but you can't say, right? Unlike the typical Japanese things, no, All right? So let's switch, okay, good try, but let's switch that to an example with only a noun or a noun phrase, okay? Very good. So, um, so let's analyze these examples and I'm gonna keep asking you guys. Okay, so let's go over the first example that I got. The typical Japanese doesn't think school is boring, unlike the typical Italian. Is this example correct? Yes or no? No. No? No. No, it's not no. correct? No. Uh, I mean, this one right here. So the typical Japanese doesn't think school is boring, unlike the typical. So you say that is not correct. Why? Tell me. Because you no, say that not. that don't like and uh, need, need um, more information after. Uh, OK. Do you all share the, the same thought, guys? Do you, do you all think the same? Oh, I don't know. I think that, that we can change. Okay. Unlike, unlike the typical Italian, comma. Okay, all right. So guys, mm. all right. So this sentence, guys. All right, listen, listen, I know. Analyze this, okay? I gave you the structure. I don't know if you wrote it down or not, <laughs> but I gave, you, I gave you the structure of Unlike, right? And what is the structure for unlike, guys? Unlike plus like, now. Plus now. now, now. now. Right. All right, so it's right, unlike, right, unlike mm. plus mm. a noun mm. or, or, or noun phrase, right? No phrase. Or you can use a pronoun too, guys, okay? Or pronoun, okay, whatever. I forgot to to tell you about the pronoun, okay? So anyways, this is the structure. So let me ask you something. In the first example, since you're saying this is incorrect, right? But I want you to analyze this. Let's go over the clause, right? Let's go over the unlike clause here, right? So <clears throat> is this, guys, is this right here, does this follow the structure, yes or no? Yes. 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 Okay. So mm -hmm. it is correct. correct. Yes. Correct. All right. So this right here contains the main the the, 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 the main information, right? So the typical Japanese doesn't think school is boring, unlike the typical Italian. So yes, it is one hundred percent correct. Okay. Now let's take a look at the second example. Unlike the typical Japanese, the typical Italian does think school is boring. What do you think about this? Um, doesn't doesn't should it be doesn't unlike the typical yes. japanese the typical italian doesn't think school is boring do they do they think school is boring or do they not think school is boring guys uh, that typical you know that typical think school think. is boring no that's no that's that's is, is, no. is no no is it incorrect the word does. The yes. typical Italian thing is boring. You don't need does. You don't need it. So yeah. is it is is it incorrect? <laughs> um, you guys are the teachers, okay? You guys are the teachers. So all right. So who who I, I don't remember. I'm sorry. Uh, who gave me this example? Yeah, Milka. Ami Amilcar. Right. I think, I don't know. Thanks. Was it, was it, was it like, Amilka, are you there? I, I forgot the name. Of, <laughs> okay. All right. So, yeah, I, I know that a guy gave me this example. So, all right. So, um, I suppose, teacher, that for instance, I think. Yeah. They, they, exactly. My internet, my internet connection is not great. No. Thank you. Thank you, Aristides. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. So guys, 
the example is correct, okay? You can do that. Yes, you can use mm -hmm. the typical Italian does think school is boring, right? Is it necessary to use it here? No, it is not necessary. But mm -hmm. is, it cor is it correct? Yes, it is correct. We can use does, okay, to emphasize the verb afterwards, okay? So basically, guys, this is, this is actually working. If I am modifying, guys, a verb, what is, what, what is that? What modifies a verb? An adverb. An adverb, okay? So does is actually working as an adverb, okay? Because it's modifying the verb think, <laughs> okay? So yeah, it is, it is correct, guys. It is 100% correct, although it's not necessary. So what is the difference, guys, between saying, um, unlike the typical Japanese, the Italian, the typ I mean, the typical Italian does think school is boring versus the typical Italian thinks school is boring. Is this correct? Yeah. No. 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 Yes. No, no, no. no. <laughs> well, there no. is missing an S. Exactly, because thinks, now, thinks. right, remember, does actually worked also yeah, as an auxiliary, thinks. right? Thanks, okay? Thinks. So now we have to use it in yeah, third yes. person. Okay, yeah. now this is correct, right? So what is the only difference now, right? Yeah. Now I'm not making emphasis on the verb think. That is the only difference, okay? Got it? I'm not making em an emphasis on the verb think. And that, I'm not making emphasis, sorry, right? And that is the difference, okay? Very good job, guys, very good job. All right, any questions so far, guys? Or so far, so good? Teacher. Tell me. Uh, we only use with person or, or think or, or other? We can use it with everything. I'm gonna give you an example. Okay, okay. All right, so let's, let's create our own examples, guys. Do my favor, okay? I'm gonna write down an example here, but I want everybody to come up with five examples in your notebook for the rest of the class, right? Come up with five examples of um, using unlike, okay? The structure is here. You can invent everything else, okay? So let's <laughs> let's create a sentence together, guys. Let's let's start with unlike, okay? Unlike, unlike. Um, let's not use a person. Unlike. Um, Unlike Lamborghinis, okay? Do you like Lamborghinis? <laughs> I, I, no, have no I, I, I have I no contrast. idea. I don't have no idea. I contrast. I have no idea, guys, how to spell Lamborghinis, okay? I'm going to spell like like this in the Salvadorian world. In the, in the Salvadorian <laughs> way. Lamborghinis, okay? Got it? Lamborghinis. Oops. That's a, that's a Oops. Salvadorian version of Lamborghini. I haven't yeah. ever heard of that's name. All right. So, unlike Lamborghinis, <laughs> all right. What? This what is, is the meaning. What? What is the meaning of Lamborghinis? The car. The mark uh, is it, the motor car. It, it's, it's the make of a car. Okay. Make. Yeah. Okay. I don't want you to get confused. Okay. So, let's change that. Unlike. Unlike bosses, okay? Unlike bosses. So you give me the rest of the sentence, guys. Unlike bosses. Cars. What? Cars. Cars, All right? So cars. Uh, cars, cars what? Uh, are more fast. <laughs> Comfortable. All right. Cars, yeah. very good. Cars. Now, Oh, okay, let's 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 do this a little bit more fun. I want you to give me a sentence that is not in simple present because we already saw, guys. Oh, you know, so so this is a simple present, guys. This is not only in simple present. This is in any tense. Okay. Let's see. G give me give me one in 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 the present perfect. Okay. Car have design more comfortable. Cars have design have been have been have have always or let's just have always 
been more comfortable, right? Yes. Right, so unlike, unlike bosses, cars have always been more comfortable. All right, how about these guys? Is this correct? No, how? No, cars have. No, cars have. have. Yeah, have. Have, guys, because it's plural, right? Cars have adverb been more comfortable, okay? Very good. Um, all right, so see, I can use it with, so it's not only, it's not only people, right? We can use it with different, different things. Yes. Let's see, let's use it with a phrase, guys. Can we use it with a phrase? We did it a little bit different. Unlike, teacher. unlike, all right, let's, let's use a phrase, guys. Let's make this more complicated, right? I like to complicate my life. So let's, let's, let's make this more complicated. Give me, guys, if you can give me, all right, if you can give me a phrase that works as a noun, Using unlike, I will give you zero dollars, okay? So there, you have your motivation now. <laughs> mm. If you want to win zero dollars from me, give me an example using, <laughs> using a phrase that works as a noun, a noun phrase. That one is hard, but if you can do it, you are really, you are truly advanced. No? Healthy food? Yeah, yes, Jenny, I'm sorry. Healthy food. Unlike healthy food, all right. Now, yeah, we can use this, unlike healthy, healthy food, right? Which is correct. However, I want you to give me a phrase. Let's use a phrase as a noun. That will make it way more interesting. All right, I'm gonna give you one because I think okay. So unlike, um, unlike people main waves at the stadium. Unlike what, Sandra? Unlike people make waves at the stadium. Unlike people making making right. Unlike people making waves it's at the stadium. At the stadium. Okay. All right. Right. This sounds. Oh, but good. the ocean. I'm comparing with the ocean, you know. The ocean what? The ocean, but the ocean um, doesn't need any people for doing. The ocean, the ocean, right? Doesn't need any need, people. Need people. All right, so let's see. Unlike people making waves at the stadium, the ocean doesn't. <clears throat> the ocean doesn't need any. Any people too? No, you you don't need to use two here. No. Should not used to, right? Okay. Unlike people making waves <clears throat> at the stadium, the ocean doesn't need any people. All right, what do you think about this, guys? Correct or incorrect? I think that is correct. Correct? Yes. yes. It's correct, yes. teacher. Okay. Making, I think it makes. The ocean makes what? Or. Unlike people makes waves of the stadium. No, 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 no. You cannot say unlike people makes. First of all, people is not singular, guys. It's plural. All right. Uh, make, make. Yeah, make. Yeah. No, but, ah, you cannot say unlike people make. That is impossible. Mm -mm. Uh. The only way you can use it <laughs> is making in ing form. Unlike people making. Stadium. The ocean doesn't need any people, right? So yeah, the, the only actually, guys, this part is correct. So congratulations, you gave me a phrase, right? Um, the ocean doesn't need this part right here. It sounds kind of like confusing. It is correct, but it the idea. Let's say the ocean don't need doesn't need, doesn't need people. Moving. 
All right. The ocean, ocean doesn't. Making waves to the stadium. The ocean doesn't need what? The ocean doesn't. The ocean doesn't. If you say this, guys, okay, I'm like people making waves to the stadium. The ocean doesn't. All right. It's like saying no. The, the ocean, ocean doesn't. doesn't. No, no. The ocean doesn't, but without any that. people, you know. Saying... Doesn't without people. What about <laughs> this? The ocean does it without people. Oh yeah, I see. I believe it's good. All right. Okay. <laughs> what do you think, what do you... guys? This example, this example. Okay. All right. So listen, it is, it is, it is correct. Okay. On like people making waves at the stadium, that part is correct, guys, because you can you can use this as a noun, right? So it's yeah. a noun phrase, right? The ocean does it without people. So it is correct, but it sounds really strange. Okay. Yeah. You can say something like this. You could say something like this, okay? You could say, um, unlike, change unlike, change listen change this, unlike, unlike walking, unlike walking to school every day, right? Why? Because we can use walking as a gerund and a gerund is a noun, right? Unlike walking to school every day, um, you can say running is faster. You can do this too, right? And this right here is walking as a noun phrase. When I walk into school every day, running is faster, right? Would that be correct? <sighs> when I walk into school every day, yes, running is faster. If you want to know if it is correct, guys, do you have, you have to ask yourself the question? Hey, that is does it is it is it contrast? Yes, it's contrast, right? Yes, it's contrast. Uh, does it follow the structure? Yes, it does follow the structure, right? So yeah. Yes. All right. So some of you sent me the example on like the public employee, the private employees have to work more. Perfect example, Patricia. Unlike, unlike of, no, unlike cold water, unlike cold water, snow is colder. There, Amilcar, you should not be using uh, the article the, right? Because we only use it when we are talking about something specific, okay? You're talking about water, right? And cold water in general, all right? <laughs> very good very good okay all right guys so uh tomorrow guys we're gonna see your examples right but do you have any questions guys using on like and while did you get the um, idea now the use of not of uh gerund um i didn't catch that all right so i said that you can use a noun or a pronoun or a noun phrase right and this right here, walking to school every day, is a noun phrase. Why? Because walking is a gerund, right? So you can start, you can start a noun phrase with a gerund, since a gerund is a noun. Do you remember, guys, what, what gerunds are? Gerunds are the ing form of the verb that works as a noun, right? So you can yes. use it. You can yeah. basically, basically yes. all of these phrases is like saying Cheyenne, unlike Cheyenne, right? So you can. <laughs> Can change that for a noun, right? And like walking to school every day, running is faster. You can do that. This is an example, guys. So you understand that you can have more ideas, right? Is this gonna be? Is this? Is this? Um, is this structure going to appear on in the um, on the platform? No, you're not gonna see this on the platform, right? But it's so no. you have an idea, guys, that you can use it. You can use any noun phrase, guys, as a noun. Okay. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you more examples with that tomorrow, if you wish. Okay. All right. Um, Thank anyways, you. Guys, it's it's really nice seeing you again, guys. I really didn't didn't think that you were gonna be here. So my presentation was actually a welcome presentation. <laughs> right. So so I was like, oh my god. So I have to start with a topic today, man. But it was good, guys. It was good. Okay. We're gonna see more about this tomorrow, guys. Thank you very much. Tomorrow. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.